Yo, 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 Nakama around the world, welcome back to Conqueror Saki Corner. It's your boy Serge. Yo. Your boy Vim. Yo. Myself, Rook. We're here once again to bring you another chapter review of One Piece 980 Fighting Music. But before we do that, please remember to smash that subscribe button. Leave a damn like on the video if you love One Piece. And share the video, because the more you share, the more we grow. And we want to say a big, big, big thank you. Thank you always. But Kings, let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. What are you saying, Vim? All right. Let's quickly cover the front cover. Not going to take too long. We're still with Gang Beige and the crew, but we can see a proposal. Chapsin. Lola <laughs> to Fire Tank Gotti asking him to marry her. And Fire Tank Gotti is very, very confused. And he's pointing <laughs> to himself. And he's got exclamation marks. Who? Me? So I don't think he knows what he's getting himself into. Or if he even knows what's <laughs> going on. It's around. someone that look like a crown to you underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure what, what that's that in be? reference to. Yeah. yeah. For real. There's no regular exclamation mark, so I think he's very, very confused. Very confused. Mm. Yeah. What? This was a crackhead chapter. I mean, we pick up where we left off. Luffy doesn't again doesn't stick to the plan. He exposes <laughs> exposes the alliance, exposes everybody, and uses an elephant gun to punch up these people that are just waste wasteful with food, man. In a time like this, in this pandemic, how can you be wasteful with food? <laughs> Sending silent it's messages, true. man. It's true. Straight though, you went proper went over overboard though. You using an elephant gun for you could have just. <laughs> I was just about to say that it's, it's <laughs> unnecessary, but he didn't need to do. Now I was gonna say it's really nice how Oda used the kind of the kind of the triangle narrative between Kid Zoro and Luffy. So Luffy causes a hype, you know, like obviously kids kids always have this reaction, even from Shibodi about Luffy's craziness. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> he's doing? Like, so same again. And just as he thinks he's gonna kind of use it to to his advantage, the building gets just slashed real fast as well, and everyone's falling, causing another commotion. And then it's just one of the most priceless scenes. Zoro's been looking at Luffy, like, what a mess you've made of things. Why can't you behave and infiltrate the group like a normal person? And I just want to connect. But they spilled the Oshiruko on the ground on purpose. And look at Zoro's face, like, it just like, hit him in the heart. It's like, Oshiruko? Well, that settles it. They got it. Yes, <laughs> the powerful thing is, they both saw the people suffer. And I think they were both like angered by the suffering of the people because even though they were separate throughout their time in Wayno when they were like seeing this, that's the connection they both share. They both share the same vibe, the same morals. So it's like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get aggy, like we gotta mash these people up. Mm. And obviously everyone's just like, wow, you know, kids just like game. Ah, this crew is a joke because he's trying to be cunning, but he has his moment. At the end, we'll get to that. And the, one of the greatest things that I wanted to just chop up with you guys today, man, is like, what did you guys guys think of Apu's fight and strength? Very it's interesting. Okay, I remember a while back, and you, you told me something where it made me realise that I'm taking it for granted how strong these people are. Because initially, I was against Capone being strong. But they are the West generation. They have travelled the seas to get to a level where they're being recognised as a, as a pirate, even though they're rookies. So, even though we may look at Apu as a bit weird looking, a bit eccentric, his ability and strength has managed to get him thus far. And it was interesting to see how much damage he gave to the likes of our characters and the ones that we always share for Luffy and Zoro. And when you see them get hurt, you're thinking, why are they getting hurt by him? Because we put them on such a high pedestal. Mm -hmm. We don't know that, that the Apu's strength alone is unique and able to do more damage than we could ever even, even understand because we don't really understand his technique to the full mm -hmm. extent anyway. Well, after reading it two or three times and even now yeah. I quickly kind of read it again, um, I think I do understand his technique because okay. he says a few key things. So... Yeah. As he's fighting Zoro and Luffy, we'll come back to what Queen said because that's very important as well, yeah? yeah? But all of a sudden, so what he does is he creates music. So he says scratch. And he, you know, like, as he says scratch, 
Then he says, what? And what he says is the command that happens to the person. So then Luffy gets bopped in the face. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, then pay attention to the next panel if you haven't, guys. Mm -hmm. You see Zoro is like, what's going on? Isn't that the guy who was in an alliance with Jaggy? And I love that Zoro is yeah. calling him Jaggy too. It's just like jokes. Yeah? <laughs> and then he does another one. He makes he does more music, makes yeah. another command, slash. And what happens yeah. to Zoro's chest? Slash. Slash. Yeah. And then he fought, and then he says, ooh. And there's an explosion with Luffy. So that's three things where he said the specific word okay. and the specific attack happened. And then he so announces it. At the end, so if you go to like the second to last panel before Jackie yeah. is busy, he says to them, let's see how, oh wait, check it out. You're still in my firing range. So the way his technique in Devil Fruit works is he's a ranged fighter. So he, as we remember back in Shibodi Archipelago, yeah. he fought from the top of the roof, but yeah. he has to maintain the correct distance to where mm. his techniques can work. Yeah. And obviously it seems like he can manipulate sound and maybe sound... Obviously, sound has waves. Yeah. Can that manipulate like Wave internal lips. forces in the bloodstream? Mm. And, and I'm not here to do an English lesson, but onomatopoeia. Slap yeah, exactly. Anything he says, he can physically manifest it into the actual move itself by using the sound waves of what he's basically saying and his control over it. So essentially, it, it, it is a devil fruit, but the devil fruit in itself. We're still trying to, we're still understanding it, like you just explained it, and what mm. it can do, and what it can, what even can do even more than that, in a sense where, when we get to the point where him and um, Kid face off, will he be able to protect himself? Not just that, but we're, we're like as the story unfolds in the future, we don't know if I, I mean Apu's from the West Generation, so I think yeah. he'll be in the story for a while to come. Yeah. But remember, like all these type of Paramisha Devil Fruits have awakenings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine if you could Ooh. turn your, you know, sound, your that's a dangerous one sound and all sorts. It's kind of yeah. crazy. And I do like how slowly through each of these kind of um, Yonko arcs, like Oda's given us more in the rest of the West Generation and kind of making them live up to their reputation. Because a lot of them yeah. at first kind of don't appear as strong as others. And we all know, obviously, certain members of the West Generation are stronger than others. But you don't get into the West Generation unless you're strong. Like yeah, they yeah, all have yeah. unique like quirks and abilities that even though they might have, may not have like close range fighting strength or they have powers that are very like useful. So it's pretty amazing. A little sidetrack to that. What do you guys think about the dialogue when they obviously so see Straw Hat and Zoro and Apu kind of makes the announcement to everyone, oh, you know, they, they bust and he says to Queen, well, I thought he bust our Udon or whatever. Yeah, he was in Udon. And then Queen obviously thinks that it's her damn it, they broke out of prison. And he makes a big announcement, which kind of connects to the last few chapters we read. Okay, folks, we've got one fun golden festival happening tonight. As it happens, I got someone I want to erase right now. I'll get rid of one of the Toby Ruppel and create an open seat. And it's like obviously he's saying that for these people to go and kidnap, like defeat Luffy and that as a reward, I'm going to create an yeah. open seat. Who wants it? So, who do you guys think he's beefing with in in the Toby Rock poll? Because it seems there's something personal going on. Because they they sent for him a few chapters ago. Because yeah. if you look, it's kind of foreshadowing. Remember what one of them asked a question: What would happen if Queen died? They kind of didn't even talk about Jack because Jack is probably the weakest out of the All Stars. Uh, so but they asked, sent Queen. So they asked um, Drake. Drake, you'd be next, wouldn't you? Mm. He's not interested. Yeah, yeah. So even though he's not interested, Queen stole my one in his head. Could be. I think it's more along the lines in terms of um, the story might have done a little skip. I could be totally wrong here, but the story might have done a little skip and one of them have already located um, Yamato. So he might have been given a message already now that some this person's here to challenge you. Yeah, not just that, but also as we're learning more, certain abilities face off against other abilities. So like if you if we go way back to Sky Skypeo, like Luffy, way before he was strong enough to fight Enel, just had the perfect devil fruit mm. to fight Enel. Yeah, like yeah, even yeah, though yeah. he couldn't Enel, because Enel could already use Mantra, which was yeah. Haki, 
but Luffy could just hit him at will. Like the lightning had no effect on him. Mm. So it could be that they could isolate Queen as the, the particular member of the Toby Rupple may have an ability that mm. is suitable to beat Queen instead of Jack or King. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon um because of Queen's nature and what what he's like, I reckon he's given away his ability. Um, or given away too much about himself and they know how to get around it. So in terms of having the correct ability for it, yeah, that fits into it. But also they know how to defeat him or they know a weakness yeah. about him. Yeah. yeah. He's the weak link for them. Mm. The funny thing is his ability, right? And, you know, he rem- reminds me of the giraffe guy from um, CP. Yeah. Nine. Long neck, small body. Mm. Not, I don't know he's, he's a dinosaur, so he's not a small body, but it. <sighs> I don't want to say it's impractical, but it, it sort of is. You're not really in the right setting when you're kind of like at that stature. So it's it just depends on how he uses it. To tell you the truth as well, though, there are two. You've got the two different styles um, yeah. in Zoe, and you've got that style, and then you've got the other one. I can't remember what it is, though. You can half and half it. Mm. Now, for me, the most hype part of this chapter was and the drawing the detail was just like it just got me so hyped and gassed was obviously we have a poo who's threatening them again he's like, oh, like you're in my firing range let's see how you like my subwoofer which sounds like like obviously one of his really strong attacks yeah and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden like all these pirates swords and metal starts to get just raised into the air and like people are saying stop it kid they'll spot you too like he's totally <laughs> abandoned like his yeah. whole reason for passing Zoro and Luffy, because he's the same guy as them, and mm. he's just like that traitor's over there. <laughs> this is how all this got started, and he does another attack. The size of that hand he creates here, yeah? Punk Gibson, and he lands him. Obviously, I don't think he's feet mm. just yet, but kid could be bad news for Apu because magnetism can manipulate sound. Mm-hmm. And also, he can also attack from, like, if he builds a large enough, you know, like, extension of metal, he don't need to get close. He can fight him from range. Because that becomes a part of his body, man. Like, yeah. bad news, man. I'm, and you know what? Salute to Oda for finally, even though it's not much yet, and I hope there's a lot more, he's starting to give kids some flipping, mm. you know, like, platform to shine. Mm-hmm. Because I've been dying for this moment. If, if, and... I do believe it is, but if kids' abilities are anything like Magneto's, kids are monster. Like manipulating metal is insane. Life. Bro, it's in you, this the, the 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 levels that Magneto went to is is different. So that if if kid is anything, and I think it is, we're just only seeing a small. We're only scratching the surface at the moment. We're gonna see a lot more, and we should. And if you look at the detail of the drawing of the big hand here, what I just want to like. You know what? It's not just obviously, God bless the person. Maybe that's why they're on a break next week because it took them so <laughs> long. <laughs> Stress. <laughs> but you know what? I would like to see just how, see like all the fine little details. So kids just not get random metal. Like he builds that hand perfectly to function. So you can see every cog, every axle, like so that it can bend and all that. I think that's going to have importance in the future to like the level of his abilities and what he can do, man. And the thing is, what's interesting here, he hasn't even covered that arm with hacky. And you know he can hackify ob- objects. Hey, yeah. Like, yeah. He's not even gone all that yet. Right. And like maybe it. that's because he knows his ability is just good against the sound guy. Yeah. Apu. Apu kind of reminds me of one of those dirty sand ninja from Naruto. Sound <laughs> 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 And he's about to just get done dirty. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if um, Apu had some some type of defensive ability just there. Like, can you put a sound barrier around him or something like that? Well, his, he looks squashed, man. His hand, <laughs> he does. I think other get involved. And I want to see Killer get involved too. Yeah. I can see someone going for Kit. Because, like, the same way Zoro backs, you got to remember, Killer is Kid Zoro. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to make noise too very, very soon. He'd just be laughing now when he does it. Plus, we haven't seen, we haven't had a chance to see Killer in action either, so I think it's about time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid and Killer. Should be a good chapter. We're in a break, though. Painful, man. 
is, 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 is getting exciting. Well, guys, let us know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like and don't forget to share the video. The more you share, the more we grow. But from Conquer Zaki Corner, it is that time. Peace out. Peace out.